Were you collecting yeah. other cards before you started collecting Pokemon yes, cards? Yes, I have I'm a lifelong collector, going all the way back to the 1950s. I think in 1959 I was 5 years old and I remember saving bottle caps with uh, professional football players' faces on the inside of the bottle caps mm. and collecting all the Los Angeles Rams, you know, which is where, where I lived and yeah. who my team was. And I, I collected trading cards, baseball cards. Baseball uh, cards? Oh, absolutely. I still have a, a decent collection, not a super valuable one. I don't have any uh, Mantle rookies or you know oh, anything I mean, like that's, that. That's, that's huge. Right. But I do have... Um, Sandy Koufax, you know, rookies and Don Drysdale rookies <laughs> uh, because they were my favorites and yeah. that. But then I didn't keep them in the greatest condition. I was just a little kid, you know, of course. So uh, I collected trading cards, the shows from the 1960s, mm -hmm. like Adam's Family and Munsters. I collected all those trading cards, those sets. Uh, I, I like to say that I don't think there's a single set that I either don't own today or didn't own at one time complete. Wow. So yeah, good question. And absolutely, I've collected my entire life, not just those things, but science fiction magazines from the 1920s, uh, pulp magazines. Uh, I mean, just so many things. But this is where I think is really interesting because once you start getting into what I like to call alternative investments, mm -hmm. Pokemon cards, we could, we could say maybe is one of them, movie posters let's just say like some of these other things including artwork are just really unique to start to collect yes yo know, they they absolutely are in there uh i was at a little bit of a disadvantage early on because my mom and dad and fa family members nobody were was collectors they were all if there was something too much in the house get it get it out you know they wanted to keep things neat and uh, so there was no there was no interest in collecting. So yeah. I really have a feeling it's a kind of an inherent thing because from the very beginning I was a collector and loved you know loved you know the just the whole thing going to shows the search the completing sets yep. the it all meant you know so much inherently to me naturally, and so uh, I, I you know it's you know kind of an individual special thing. And I have it to this day, yeah. even with all I've been through, all the things I have. Uh, I mean, I still have my eye forward, you know, looking for, you know, other things and 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 excited to see other people get things. And yep. like what you're going to do later on, I'm actually excited to see you do that, to open that. And I'm I mean, so, yeah. just, just because that that's it's in me, you know, to you know, to be excited about such things and to enjoy it. And yeah. So let me share this. So we got, uh, well, I got a first edition gym trainers pack unopened. What was that year? Is that with 1999? I believe, right? Was it gym trainers or was it 2000? Yeah, it was, it was actually 2000, 2000. and it's uh gym heroes, gym heroes. Yes. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. So, Unopened, I got this pack, and I've been waiting specifically for today to open it. Right. So well, I, I, I am so excited to see you open this because because uh, there there can be some real treasures in there, and every single you know it's more of a nostalgia thing. Yep. You know, twenty years ago when you were you know when you were just a little kid, yeah. and go to the store and pay your three bucks for a pack and go out back and open them. I mean, that's what it's all about, yep. and that that's what you're going to relive right this moment. Yeah, and and I think that's part of the attraction. To Pokemon, yeah, you know it's it's going back and it's reliving those memories. And, See, I agree with that, and yeah. uh, what you were saying reminds me a lot of myself because mm -hmm. when I was getting into Pokemon, I never played the game, but I mm -hmm. only collected the cards, right? And I kept them in hall pristine condition, mm. and uh, I got the entire. I think I got nearly the entire base set. I I don't remember how much was first edition or how much was just base. Right, I can't remember, but someone stole. My entire binder of cards, a few hundred cards oh boy. when I was off at school. I put them in my backpack, but I would go and bring them to school to trade with, oh, with other kids. And just right. I'd bring them and like show them off. Be like, yes. look what I got last night. And uh, I remember I would even trade with the um, uh, with with the store I would go into. And they had a big display of cards. And I'd come in with my cards. Like, can I trade three of these that I had duplicates of? Can I trade these for that one that you have there? Uh. Someone stole it. But that unfortunately really ruined it for me because I was so it's disappointed. I was like, how can I, how yeah. could I recreate that? I couldn't. So I got into the Neo set because mm -hmm. I didn't even want to go back. Cause I was like, it was so damaging to me because I think I was maybe 10 or 11. It's traumatic. Yeah, it, it was. Is. Yes. Cause I had never had anything mm -hmm. stolen from me ever mm -hmm. in my entire. So this is the first wake up call. Like 
who would steal from me? Like, right. who, who would do this? Yeah. So I got into Neo, got into Magic the Gathering a little mm-hmm. bit, but nothing was quite the same afterwards, right. before, unfortunately. But. You, you know, I hear, I, I hear that story quite a bit. Uh, even today, yeah. for people just getting back into the hobby today, if they buy a box and it turns out it's a reseal or something and... You know, it, it takes kind of takes the heart out of you, yeah. you know, and makes you not want to, you know, you, you don't want to take a chance of having that happen to you again. And, and I and I tell everybody that talks to me about going through an experience like that is seriously try to brush it off because mm-hmm. Because there was so much value prior to that day yeah. that happened. Yeah. And that same value is still there at this moment. Get back into it, you know, yeah. do it and enjoy it. And uh, and re relive it. You know, those moments, they fade away over time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the I also, bad, yeah. The bad times. yeah. Mm-hmm. I also want to mention 